This episode brought to you by Arm & Hammer Pure Baking Soda. Not a sponsor. Alex. Arm & Hammer Baking Soda. Your Leonard Fournette comparison. Just a, a few... It's true. A few short weeks ago saying, well, I won't, I won't, I don't want to confuse the listeners and watchers. Why don't we just interrupt right now and roll the clip? And I have him at six. There's no reason why he won't be better than Mark Ingram, Nick Chubb, and Austin Eckler this year in my mind. So that he jumps up three spots and that puts him at six. Also, I would just like to point out, here comes another prop. He is basic. I mean, here this is a twelve pound, thirteen pound bag of baking soda, and so I compare Leonard Fournette to a giant <laughs> bag of baking soda. This one being thirteen pounds. Baking soda can pretty much do anything you want. It has many different uses. You can brush your teeth with it. It can eliminate odor. You can. I mean. <laughs> You can do anything you want with baking soda. Oh, man. Wasn't that. How you feeling? Is he can he still do anything you want? He can. Or I still nothing think at all. He's, like the I still Jaguars think he's think. a top 12 fantasy running back. Uh, what? He's not he on our team. To... I know. If he was a top um, 12 running back, he would be on the Jaguars. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. So essentially what they're doing now is they're just straight up tanking, right? I mean, you think that's what they're no, doing? There's no universe in which Leonard Fournette did not make the Jaguars better. So it's just like their running back coach was like, he was not cut because he's not producing. Now, I will eat crow on this. Yes, you will. Birdman, eat that crow. Because I, we have a board bet where Leonard Fournette oh. was over under the 12.5 best fantasy running back. Pretty sure I'm going to lose that one. Oh, wait, hold on. What what side were you that of that were you on? You thought he was a I top said, 12 running back? Yep, I said he'd be a, a RB1. Pretty um, hard for that to happen when you're not on a team, ladies and gents. Okay. Um, so that's fine. Um, I mean, there's reports, so he's going to clear waivers today. Um, there's reports that, uh, he will potentially end up with the Rams cause he's still good friends with, uh, Jalen Ramsey. Um, and so wouldn't you kind of like to see him in that offense and just drop him in there and he's going to be better than all the people they have. And then he could still potentially be a top 12 running back. One, one thing. Do you know what team? So, do you know what team I really want him to go to? The Bears, because Montgomery's no. hurt. Kansas no. City. No. What team? Houston. Nope. I want to see him go to the Titans, and I want Derrick Henry and him to both run the ball twenty times a game. <laughs> and, and that's the whole just, offense. Yeah, that's the whole offense. They just bludgeon <laughs> people, and so like as soon as you're able to like stop one guy. The other guy is just going to run you like he's going to come in fresh and just run you over. Most teams um, have like a like a thunder and lightning combo. Like you got your thunder, you know, straight head bulldozer. And then you got the lightning that's a little more flashy. That would be like a thunder thunder. It'd be like the Thunderdome. It'd be just all hammering. Thunderdome. That's what WWE is calling their uh, their residents right now. The Thunderdome. Wonderful. There's your wrestling reference for the episode. Um, I just... Like the team that he would best fit on is the Jacksonville Jaguars because they don't have anybody to replace him. It's absolutely absurd that uh, that he is not on their team anymore. Um, And I actually so you were taunting me with the Arm and Hammer thing. Um, I made myself a little costume for this episode or at least to start it. Um, So. Oh, oh, yes. Alex the Sacco. Ladies and gentlemen, our uh, our lovely Alex Krog is in the process of putting a paper bag over us. <laughs> I'm just saying that like your fantasy analysis is just so fitting for this as well. This little poop emoji like, oh, yeah, hey, I don't know why people are listening to us. Honestly, everybody hurry, go run out and draft a running back that uh, 
was rumored all off season to try and be traded by the team he's on, except they couldn't find a trade partner. Oh man. Well, Alex, great it's job. Embarrassing. Great job. Just thanks for that lovely analysis. I'm glad that you're at least punishing yourself. Uh, I can't hear you that well because you are covering your mouth with your bag, though. So <laughs> if we could. Uh, so, I, yeah. Hey, sign me up. Let him go to the Rams. Let him be great. Um, I'm not giving up on Fournette. If you have already drafted him on a roster, you have to hold you him. You have to hold him. You can't drop him. Um so, yeah, you just have to hold on to him. The Jacksonville Jaguars running back situation. Do you want I mean, Reichwell? Anything, no, I don't want anybody there still. You, I, I think, think they signed someone. Don't you? I th- No, I think that you should draft Gardner Minshew in the first round and try to win a title and a year of Bud Light at this point. I think that that's probably the safest play. Because there's just no way. I mean, I don't know how good Reichwell Armstead is, but like... I'm just not, you can't, I wouldn't even know where to take him. Like the answer is, you know, him or Chris Thompson, but like the third answer is maybe just none of them. Yeah, that's right. You'll know after week one and then you can just use some fab if he's not already on a team is, is pro or you use your waiver spot. Um, that that's probably the easiest way to go. Um, but yeah, if anything, it bumps up DJ Chark uh, in rankings because I, I would not be surprised if he ends up being a wide receiver one because they're going to have to run plays and throw to somebody and there's like all those receptions for Fournette are gone. All those rushes are gone. That entire offense, we have no idea what it's going to look like. And if they're just going to have Minshew sling it 45 times a game, then like, I guess sign me up. I mean... Chris Thompson can produce when he's in that Jay Gruden offense. He's shown it at Washington. So maybe that's a sleeper alert. 